Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about how to solve an equation with an absolute value sign in it. So the equation we have is 7 absolute value of x minus 9 plus 4 equals 10. So the strategy we want to use here is we want to get the absolute value sign all by itself and everything else over to the other side. So let's start moving things over and the most, the, you know, the, the kind of most loosely attached item is the plus four. So to move that over, I'm going to subtract four from both sides. And what that leaves me with is seven times absolute value x minus nine, close the absolute value, equals six. And now the next layer uh, attached to the absolute value sign, or the thing I need to move over at this point, is the 7. And that's attached by multiplication. So if I want to undo multiplication, the operation would be division. So let's divide by 7 on both sides. On the left-hand side, I'm left with the absolute value of x minus 9, and on the right-hand side, 6 sevenths. And I'm going to leave it as a fraction. I don't want to write that as a decimal or try to round it off in the middle of my problem because that will introduce rounding errors. And, you know, if I'm going to do a laser eye surgery on somebody and I'm part of a team and I start rounding off in the middle of the, the operation, by the time they get to the actual surgery, I could be really way off track. So you want to keep things every, you want to, you want to keep things uh, exact until the very last step of the problem. Uh, that will avoid any round off errors. All right, so now at this stage, you may be wondering, how can I undo or lift off these absolute value signs? So let's pause for a moment. I'm just going to take a, a little coffee break here and go over on the side to talk about um, how would you solve something like the following. Suppose I said the absolute value of x is less than 2. All right. The way that you would solve that is you would say, okay, well, this means that x is less than 2 or negative x is less than 2. Okay, well, x is less than 2. That's pretty self-explanatory, and we know where that would be on the number line if here's a 0, 1, and 2. We'd be talking about x's that are less than 2. So something over there. And it would go way down. Now, on the other side here, we would be looking at x is greater than negative 2. So if you wanted to split that up, you have x is less than 2 and you have negative x is less than 2. So if we proceed, well, x is less than 2, that's already done, that's simplified, there's nothing more to do there. And then over here, if I divide both sides by a negative 1, recall when you divide across the inequality sign, it's going to flip your inequality. So basically, I'm looking at numbers, if I write out my number line here, where x is less than 2, so strictly less means an open circle, and x is strictly greater than the negative 2. So I'm looking at values in that interval, and this would be the interval from negative 2 to 2 in interval notation, or another way to express that would be uh, negative 2 is less than x is less than 2. They're the real numbers between negative 2 and 2, not including the endpoints. So if we go back to the problem of interest here. We can do the same strategy, except it's just a, a little bit more complicated. So on the left hand side, we have x minus 9 is less than 6 sevenths. And then over here, we have negative parentheses x minus 9 is less than 6 sevenths. So over here, if I add a 9 to both sides, I'm going to have 6 sevenths plus 9, so that's x is less than 9 and 6 sevenths, or you could make that an improper fraction. 
And then over here on the other side, you're going to have x minus 9 is greater than negative 6 sevenths. And if you add 9 to that side, you're going to have 9 minus 6 sevenths, which is equal to x is greater than 8 and 1 seventh. So on a number line, if you were to put these values 8 and 1 seventh and 9 and 6 sevenths, your solution would live between those values.